And first of all, like I said, it is an honor to be able to present these honors to the, these worthy uh, persons. Uh, each one of them you'll recognize has been around for a number of years. Each one of them you know has influenced the industry in some form or another. So again, it gr brings me great pleasure to be able to uh, announce these awards. The first one we would like to talk about would be uh, Jim Byrne. Uh, Jim Byrne last year won Innovator of the Year, so by nature he's, a, he's an innovator. Uh, he's the founder of VA Technologies. You can't go into a foundry hardly without seeing Jim's equipment in those foundries, uh, in the shell rooms, in the back end, uh, other places in the foundry. Jim has published many papers over the past uh, uh, 20 some odd years uh, and has benefited all of us uh, in the industry. So we'd like to call Jim Byrne up to get his award. On behalf of the ICI, Jim, congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very much. Like to say a few words? A few. Just a very few words. Uh, I'm absolutely shocked uh, at, at this. You know, truly, I am. And for once, I'm speechless. And I couldn't truly take this without recognizing the other great people who work with me and before me, the George Mowies, and all these other great people. And I'm just sort of stunned at this uh, honor and, uh, well, a sense of pride. Also, uh, again, I couldn't take it without mentioning or acknowledging everybody in our company who spend their lives, I think, trying to innovate and trying to deliver on innovation and struggling and struggling even more to do so. And hopefully we're just at step one of a hundred steps to get to the other side. And innovation will always be our tool. Again, I am speechless. Um, well, again, I, I will accept this on, on behalf of all of those who, like me, competitors and otherwise, try hard to deliver to this wonderful industry. Yep. So thank you very much. I'm deeply honored. Our next Hall of Honor award uh, goes to Ken Harris, and um, Ken has been working in the metals industry for many, many years. Uh, Ken is actually the inventor of 14 different patents uh, used in super alloy, and the result of this, of course, is that we can fly in planes that are safer and better and faster and all those good things, and we all appreciate that as well. Uh, Ken has been involved as a technical director of CAD Muskegon for a number of years, and again, has been a real leader in that industry. He's uh, regarded as an expert in super alloy and in vacuum uh, uh, melting. So Ken is, a, again, one of those influential people who really meets all the criteria of the Hall of Honor, and we'd like Ken to come up and accept his award. Congratulations, Great honor, no question. Thank you. <laughs> Won't lose it. Um, what I should recognize is all the colleagues at Canon Muskegon over the years, because everything we do is a team effort. And it's not just the equipment, but it's the people. So be it innovations in vacuum induction melting of cast super alloys, alloy developments, and alloy improvements. Uh, and I've been very fortunate to work with very good people who've been a, a great influence, great education. Um, it's a great industry uh, worldwide. Half our business is exported, so we know everybody in terms of um, the investment casting industry, and, and particularly my specialty, super alloys, vacuum investment casting, and the turbine engine companies, uh, some of which have their own facilities. So it's um, been a great thing to me. And, very much appreciate it.
Our next uh, honoree uh, goes to Jim Jackson. When we see Jim, we've seen Jim around for many, many years. As long as I've been, I've been around about 40 years, and some of you have been here longer than me. And uh, one thing that I always appreciate about Jim, he was always nice, soft-spoken, always had a smile on his face. He was always a gentleman. And uh, not saying that the rest of you folks aren't, but that's just something that just stood out uh, for me uh, when talking to Jim. Uh, Jim's had a lot of involvement in the industry, and like all aspects of it. I mean, uh, he's one that you could say, he, he's... Uh, uh, knows it all. <laughs> I'm sure he would tell you humbly that he does not. Uh, but Jim uh, worked at Battelle Memorial Institute. He was a product manager at Sherwood Refractories, which later became TRW, which later became PCC. Um, Jim has been involved in the improvement uh, all through various aspects of the foundry. Um, Jim was credited with the, uh, he was qualified to Ohio State of Ohio Professional Engineer's License way back in 1959. So he's been a professional engineer for a good long time. Accredited by the National Association of Corrosion Engineers as a corrosion specialist in 1972. You know, and I could go and read this thing to you for a long time, but I'm not going to do that because there's too much. Uh, you know, Jim has been involved in too much. Uh, he has been... Uh, Again, you've all known him. He's worked with SNA Consulting for many years as a consultant, traveled around the world helping to set up foundries and various aspects of the foundries and improving processes. So process improvement, I would say, was probably one of Jim's biggest, strongest points when it comes to being involved in the investment casting industry. Uh, so Jim, like I said, I accept you and say a whole lot of things, but I'll let you say a few words instead. Congratulations, Jim. Please. All right, thanks for the Oscar. <laughs> uh, I wanted to say, I wanted to show my appreciation to all the members of the Institute. I'd like to say to some of the young folks who are just joining our industry, this is a wonderful industry to belong with. We're so supportive of each other. And I want to thank all of the companies that I have worked with over the years that have supported me so that I'd be able to take part in the society, in the programming, in the in institution of, of instruction, and, uh, and, and so on. And uh, I represented the board both as a, uh, as a supplier and as a caster. And so I've been on both sides of the business, and you make a wonderful team, and I want to thank you all very much. Our next nominee, again, is one who's had a great deal of influence uh, in our industry. Uh, it's Bruce Phipps. Uh, it's kind of interesting, Bruce and I, we came into the industry about the same time. Uh, we came in the industry about the same business, about the same age. Bruce and I have been competitors for many years, but I've never considered Bruce an enemy. I've always considered him a, a good, fair, friendly competitor. Uh, always welcome to shake his hand and drink a beer with him or whatever. So, but all I can say about Bruce, he's built a heck of a company. He really has. He's done some great things in the industry. Uh, he's brought forth some good innovation. We think of uh, paste wax. Uh, nobody thought much about paste wax until Bruce uh, uh, did his thing on the injection system. So that was a great innovation for the industry. We were able to get away from a lot of those big 17-inch uh, long, 7-inch wide bricks that we used to put in machines and squeeze them about 3,000 pounds to, so that we didn't have such a, a large amount of shrinkage. So that was a great innovation. His pattern assembly machine, uh, some of you who can um, have those, you know what a great benefit that is uh, to you. So uh, we can go on and on. Bruce has said many good things. Uh, but most of all, like I said, he's uh, been another one of those who you could say was a gentleman. He's, uh, he would always uh, greet you with a nice, friendly smile. And again, he, when I think about his company, he started off as it was kind of small, but he's built it up into a nice sized company uh, for a small business. And uh, the people that work with him, he's uh, it, it's very apparent that he spent a lot of time training and bringing those people along because they all tend to be experts in their field. So it gives me great honor, really, to uh, present this award to Bruce Phipps.
<laughs> it's heartfelt. <laughs> Thank you very much. My pleasure. Really appreciate it. Do this thing, huh? So How do you want to do it? <laughs> wow, this is uh, this is really an honor, and I really have to say that it's um, our customer base that has made this possible. I really appreciate all the challenges that our customers have presented to us and um, given us that opportunity to help them out. And um, I think the industry is in a great position right now. The, the, uh, what's available today in the electronics industry and how to couple that with uh, simple things like wax injectors is just uh, is amazing. And uh, in order to do that, it really takes uh, the customer base and then the uh, MPI team to work together to clearly understand what your requirements are. And I think that's what's made the uh, growth possible and I, I really appreciate the uh, industry uh, honoring us. Thank you very much. Well, again, I think you'll all agree in the audience here that we did uh, select full four very fully qualified individuals to have that great honor in the Hall of Honor. So uh, thank you again, gentlemen, and best of luck to you all.